Hello, I'm Falag and today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of XCOM Long War Impossible. Today we are going to Blomfontein in South Africa. And let's get your hippie gear ready because in the fountains of flowers we are going to slaughter the aliens and their blood is going to fall on the petals and stuff. And uh, yeah, this is, this is an abduction, so we are going in there to stop the enemy in, uh, incursion and possibly get them out. We will see. I can't send two advanced troopers to fight it, so I hope it's not going to be very tough opposition. The alien abductions are becoming more brazen every day. We've got reports coming in of attacks in broad daylight. Where the the only ones who can respond to this threat, so we should get down there. Yep, we are going to get down on it. Get down on it. But yeah, in all seriousness I'm going to be rather careful during this mission. Meld is uh, not an incentive enough to be insane. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. And uh, yeah, Meld is not an incentive enough to be insane because there isn't going to be much of it per canister right now, so my priority is to survive. And in order to do that, I'm going to go on the rooftop and choose myself a good position. Aye, aye, Commander. First, I'm going to move Kyo and toss me a beetle scanner. Uh, let's say over there to see if there is any opposition. Scanning target area now. Nope. So we can move straight to the ladder. Because uh, from the rooftop we are going to be having a height advantage and this is awesome. Except of course Gilem is going to be inside the building accompanied by the assault. Oh yeah, break that window, show it who's boss. That way we are going to possibly bring about the end of the uh, dawn of the planet of the apes. So yeah, we are going to be moving with two fire teams, uh, but uh, I will want to coordinate them. We hear the mutants. And by the way, haha! XCOM 2 Enemy within But yeah, we see a... I think it's a sectoid commander and this... Uh, what is the second thing? Who said? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, jokes aside Rup. Looks like we can safely get ourselves onto the rooftop it is hard to say whether or not this is uh, going to give me anything useful or not. One thing for sure, we are going to get height advantage for our shots. And that's about it for now. There we go. The f ground team is moving to stay in touch. And we are going to be ending the turn. We still have no bearings on where our enemy might be. So, I we'll do. kinda want to find out maybe we will have any sort of meld situation available where we could run. This is a very difficult mission so far because I have uh, no indication as to where our enemies might be. And that just means uh, that they can be anywhere, of course. Duh. I'm gonna see the middle of the street. Nope, nothing. So that's a rather difficult position to be in. Especially considering that, uh, well, 
if we are to successfully engage our enemies right now, we would have to commit somewhere. But uh, we have no way of knowing where should we be committing. There is only some single clues as to the enemy whereabouts and nothing specific. So I can't even I can't even say that I'm gonna be seeing you in a moment when I get in position to fight because I don't know where what I'm fighting. The enemies are sneaky. They could be coming at us from anywhere. Well, Got it Positive enemy there we go. We have a pod of uh, floaters with uh, one heavy. That's something. We can work with that. I'm going to break that wall now quickly and efficiently. Hopefully, no. Come on, break yourself, wall. And that's going to allow us to shoot the heavy floater, hopefully. Okay, now we should have line of sight on him. Or at least uh, more of it. If need be, we can and we probably will flashbang them all. Actually, that's a very good idea. I'm going to do it first. Fuck you! Suck cheese, shark face! Now we need to eliminate the guy who is uh, hiding behind the car. So, how do we do it? Well, I'm going to open the door. I'm going to get the mech in position. Okay. Come on, Gilem. You know you always wanted to do this. Oh no, you can't! Damn it! Well, let's try it, do it that way. Now Gilem has a better shot. And maybe actually hit. Nope. But the wall went to fuck itself. So that leaves me with uh, a little bit of pounds. Come on, finish the job. And so Zerirkin eliminated our enemy. We have very bad shots against uh, the floaters, Moving but that's okay. We are fully not intending to shoot them at all. Can I get a cam over there? Yes, I can actually. So this is even better. <coughs> that's gonna put them in place for at least a turn. And that may be all we need. Unless it isn't. Okay, so far so good. We got them uh, stunned, but they are nonetheless dangerous. That heavy floater has a huge defense. But it's, it, it should not be a danger to us. I don't think it has the range to throw a grenade. So, see, 1%. No fucks bar given that day by us. The acid has uh, missed them. Too bad. Okay, they are overwatching. We don't give a shit. So first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my best to eliminate the heavy floater. And uh, I'm going to be right back because my wife is calling me. Okay, I'm back, and apparently my son has crawled for the first time, so you go, boy. Fucking awesome. And uh, we have to get rid of the heavy floater, or else everything will be in vain. Okay, we got him, he's holo targeted. I may or may not. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck about those uh, float normal floaters right now. Because we need to kill this guy, and you better not miss, you better not lie. We're gonna get him dead. 
now we have digital dude who can actually mind fray this uh, guy why did you fail? that would be so fucking awesome oh well so we have Aizin who has two thirty-five percenters nice that's what I like to see so gonna take care of the other guy now that's not a hit but it's okay I think I forgive you let's see what do we have well I'm going to try to oh well Negative damage. this guy doesn't uh, it's not worth it to try and suppress it Adjusting aim. well come on Zeril pounce it not good at all. It was my only chance, however. Heading there now. Scanning. Well, let's see what they do now. One has very little health and the other is acided, so we should be fine. Unless they go for a flank. But this was a very unlucky and f uh, turn full of misses. Oh, he's running to the laundry machine, eh? Well, we have to follow. This guy is under effects of acid and he's also running away. And it's coming back because floaters aren't very smart. Come on. You know what? I think I'm going to kill this guy so he doesn't run away. But at least I know where the other enemies are because they are running towards their friends always. And floaters are done for. Okay, so this gave me a very important piece of information. I know where the enemy of pod number 2 is. It's somewhere over here because that's what the floater was running towards. Which means I'm going to set up an ambush and I will see you when my people are on the roof and by the doorway ready to fight. See you in a moment. And it looks like we have just stumbled upon a pot, uh, pock of... Uh, Mutons, we have three normal ones and uh, an elite. So, this is what we are going to be doing. We need to eliminate them ASAP. What's the best way to get it done? Well, I'm thinking I'm going to get uh, Gulam in the elite's face. There we go, we see a canister even. Where is it? Where is it? Tell me now. Ah, you cheeky cunt. So this is how we uh, want to get about it. I will blow up the wall. We are already flanking this guy, so this is very good. But blowing up the wall is going to allow more people to shoot. Hello! I'm going to wait with the rocket, it may not be ultimately necessary. Cucumber is going to kill this guy, hopefully. Boop. Uh, they weren't joking when they said I boop your head. Okay, this guy has run away. It is fine. Digital is... Uh, totally not going to mind fray. It's not gonna work. We have eyes in. We don't have a mutant elite. Now what do we do? I'm going to run and gun the rear kin and shoot this guy twice in the face. Somebody call the cavalry. Not overwatch, rapid fire. I almost fucked up. That's one mutant less to worry about. We are going to suppress this uh, cheeky cunt. We don't want him to run away or do anything stupid. By anything stupid I mean anything other than lying down and dying. Okay, I am going to try the mind fray 41, but it, if, it, if it works it's gonna be great. Aye, damn it. You always gotta count that uh, your mind frays and stuff are going to fail horribly every single time. But you gotta train your Psy Troopers somehow, right? 
and Kyoken is going to be well somewhere near but not quite there when it comes to shooting this guy but we can overwatch he's certainly going to run away if he doesn't he is not gonna do so well being wounded and suppressed I hope it's really hard to say there you go that's lovely come on come on come on that's much less lovely that much uh, that's not lovely at all run away okay it ran away very good very good I am happy with that I'm going to just leave you hanging bye bye now I believe there was a canister to be seen yes there is so I am going to set up and uh, move towards this wall to pick up the canister I'm going to cut this part out to save on the upload speed because you know I'm just basically going to walk in there and that's uh, nothing important enough to be uploaded so I will see you in a moment uh, when I'm in position or encounter another enemy okay so the canister died on my face before I started moving but I have a sound clue from here which means I am going to send Kyoken as a spotter to find out what the hell okay so far nothing I guess Cucumber Dragon can reload for now we need the Logan to join the fray so dash up we are not getting any melt but this is fine because uh, ultimately who needs it I'm going to send Zeril to the rooftop to jump down on those bastards and do one for all with an overwatch just in case you never know I've seen stranger thing happen so you know what that is bad 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 decision <laughs> okay that was a temporary mind fart but I realized and not studied uh, the rocketeer's weapons Okay, we still, uh, as you can see, we hear them, but we can't see them. Gonna get the Zeril to the top. That doesn't worry me at all that we didn't, didn't encounter anybody yet, because I didn't expect to. I expect that now, when I move Kyo, I'm going to activate them. No, fine. So we are going to push it. If we have a little bit of an advantage, let's push it and make it better for us. Because what I want is for them to walk into me and get shot by overwatchers. Rather than, uh, you know, fight them fair. So remember, fair fight is for idiots. If you can hit them, kick them in the balls before they have a chance to react, do so. If you can't, make it so that you can, of course. Noki doki. And here we go. No. I am disappointed. Still nothing. Well, they gotta be there, right? Because other otherwise I'm just sneaking for no reason whatsoever. And I hate sneaking, so there better be a damn good reason. Okay. Got it covered. I'm sure you do. Okay. Okay, so there are two possibilities. One, I am basically sneaking for no reason. Two, I have a reason, but they are just one teeny tiny bit away from my line of sight, which is the preferable outcome. And they are going to walk into me. They patrolled over there now. Cheeky Fagots, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so I have to intercept. There is no point intercepting with Kyo, but I can send eyes in. Kyo can go over here, 
maybe for now. I don't know. Yeah, I guess this place is good. Along with cucumber, because we want our snipers to be sniper. Imek is also a sniper. Digital dude can get over here. Zeril is awaiting. Single fin can get in the back. And Logan's gonna go to the door. And you better freaking walk into my overwatches finally because you're pissing me off, you mutants. There we go. Boop. Nothing. Yes, I know they are there. That's... Brr. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to move single fin over here. If we notice them, we can always... Uh, you know, steady weapon and shoot them in the face next turn. Zeril is gonna go over here. I don't want to see what's down there with Zeril. Not yet. It's gonna get ready. And let's hope they finally tremble at my side. I didn't want to move out with anybody else after I double moved with the Rocketeer because that's too suicidal. Okay, time for Kyo to not lead the charge because Gulem is gonna. They are being unbelievable. Aren't they? Already there. I'm gonna dash Q over here. There we are! Finally! Two elites, three normals. Fine with me. Gotta blow the shit up then. Okay, theoretically we can make it perhaps work. If and only if this rocket connects as it should and explodes the car. We are gonna be golden. If it strays and kills our people, we are not gonna be golden. Are you fucking shitting me, game? Well, I guess I sorta kinda asked for it. But now what do I do? No, seriously, what do I do? Uh, you know what I can do? I can run and gun. Double up on the mutant elite. First shot is going to shred. Second shot is going to do something cool for me, I hope. That's nice. All is well. Now, we can't really launch a grenade. Maybe I can hit this guy. I actually have. Fuck yeah. Mm. I have a much better chance of just killing this guy rather than uh, disabling his weapon. Okay, two down. I in can't really see either one of them, so we may actually be fine. Come on, close combat. It's still alive, and it's probably gonna be, but I hope it's gonna just run away now. Oh, there is another mutant elite! Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I... Can't look, closing my eyes. We are getting through them right now, but that may not work. Ah, ah. Ouch. Sorry, Zeril. But hey, you know what's the good news? We already have a medic in there. Right? Okay, this isn't going to be a good shot. But it will be with a holo targeting. Aizin Faust is now available. Not, not panicking anymore. Very good. Take that 16. But I was hoping that maybe. Why the hell not? We can try, right? Nobody will tell me I didn't try. 
But now there is an important public announcement and uh, we need to deliver it. And hopefully do so without blowing up that fucking car, please. Okay, never mind. Kyo is going to hollow. Cucumber is going to hopefully hit. Haha, <laughs> fuck yes! Did you see that? Now, combo is going to stabilize Zeril, who have done a very well job, but now it's going to be a mech. And let's hope the last mutant elite is gonna remain stupid. Yeah, 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 I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Okay, that wasn't so good, but we now have to kill this guy before the car, car explodes. So... Okay. Fuck everything, we have to win before the car explodes. That's a 57, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Logan, open fire. I don't care about anything right now, this guy must die. Because if the car explodes, then Zeril is gonna be in trouble. I mean, dead by that. Come on, cucumber, don't miss. Fuck yes, fuck yes. Okay. Cover is for pussies. Tell me, is the end of the mission? Yes, it was. Okay, so that didn't exactly go as planned, thanks to the Muton extravaganza going suicidal uh, and charging Zeril. We couldn't really stop that, we couldn't prevent that in any way, so... Zeril, I am going to make you a mech, unless you don't wanna, then let me know in the comments. I'm going to wait with that, don't worry. And big, uh, yeah, because you are going to be out for 44 days, I'm going to look at what single fin wants. Actually, I don't think single fin has left me the specification that far going, or did she? Let me see. Did it all? I, re I really must rewrite those uh, builds because that may just not work. I think Super Spaz, Gold Bear, Logan, Cut Incognito, Senordos. Okay, I can't see single fin, so I am going to assume we are going with the shock and awe, perhaps, or maybe double tap. Let me know in the comments, uh, or I will choose for you by the time I need you next time. And we have uh, Zeril, who wanted to be a rapid fire assault. Oh, that's a lot of broken stuff. Be in touch, Boom, repair everything. But see, right now. I figure that this may be the best. You still have 40, you still have 41 wheels, so other than uh, being out for 44 days, you are completely fine. So let me know in the comments, do you want to be out for 44 days and come back as a rapid fire assault, or be out for 10 days and come back as a mech? It's up to you. And... Uh, I don't think there is anything we wanted to, to build, we don't have alloys for anything, so fuck it. Alright. Gene Lab. I'm going to grab officers, by the way. I won't do it right now, but officers are going to be gene modded uh, for combat pheromones. If you don't want to be gene modded and you are an officer, then let me know. It's the 1st of December. Terror ship analysis has been complete. Which only leaves us with Elerium, Mectoid Autopsy and Alien Communications. I am going to go with Elerium because it's about them time. And a mechtoid autopsy can wait a little. Come on. And the aliens are terrorizing Wuhan in China. So, I guess you enjoy... I... But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And thank you for watching. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.